Welcome everybody to 7 Minute Reviews. I am your host, P the Critic. This channel is dedicated to bringing you concise reviews in a matter of 7 minutes and will include many of the products we have come to love as well as discussing some that we haven't enjoyed as much and why they may or may not be worth your investment. We will review a variety of products including some of the latest tech, kitchen and home products we use in our daily lives as well as other items that we feel our viewers will be interested in knowing about. We will be active in viewing our comment section, so if there are items you would like to see us review, please let us know so that we can consider them. Our reviews will always be honest and share our true views on the products, and we will give you what we believe to be the most valuable information in a quick and easy format. At times, we may also make a separate extended cut version, especially if we feel the product deserves some additional time for a more thorough evaluation. But those videos will always be labeled as extended cut. This is our first video and our first review, so I want to thank every single one of you for viewing and supporting our channel. We really look forward to providing you with some great content and information to help you choose the best products for your needs. If you find this information helpful, Please share this video, drop us a like, and consider subscribing to the channel so we can make sure we continue to deliver great content to you on a regular basis. Today we will be reviewing the Nespresso Creatista Plus, which retails for about $650. It is the Nespresso unit you see to your left. The Creatista Plus is compatible with the Nespresso Original Line capsules, which we prefer over the newer Virtual Line. I feel with the original line, the shots are more like a true espresso, using pressure to pull the shot. The virtual line uses centrifusion to get a similar result. They both produce a nice crema, like true espresso, but I find the original line technology to be more in line with what I would expect from a good coffee shop. A quick note on pods and capsules. I am definitely a fan of trying to do good for the environment, and I'm even more into healthy living. I try to avoid plastics in contact with my food, and especially heated plastics, as much as possible. The Nespresso capsules are aluminum, and 80% is recycled aluminum. Nespresso will send you free recycling bags that have prepaid labels to ship back to them for recycling. They also have a food-grade shellac lining, so they are both environmentally friendly and, I feel, a much healthier choice than plastic pods, such as the aftermarket capsules and many other pod-based systems. For those reasons, Nespresso branded capsules and the Starbucks capsules, which are made together with Nespresso, are the only capsules I use for my Nespresso machines. The Creatista Plus offers the ability to choose between various milk-based drinks, including latte macchiato, cappuccino, cafe latte, and flat white, as well as lungo, espresso, and ristretto sized shots and drinks. The only thing it lacks is a hot water feature for an Americano or for making tea. The volume on each of these drinks is easily customizable, and the settings will stay saved for the next time you make that specific drink. The Creatista Plus has a very attractive prosumer grade appearance, with stainless steel throughout most of the unit. It also has a good sized water reservoir in the back that holds about 50 ounces, which will probably get most people through a couple weeks or so of espresso and even milk based drinks. There is also a nice pull-out tray for shorter cups and espresso shot glasses. The unit does not feature any type of cup warmer, which many traditional espresso machines have. This would allow you to set your cup on top of the machine and the espresso heating unit will warm your cup a bit. Not a huge issue, but one to note that this does not offer that feature. My biggest complaint about this unit though, is that the drip tray is quite annoying. It has an empty indicator that raises up when it should be emptied, but if you allow the drip tray to get a little more than half full, it may leak out the back of the tray. It's fairly easy to just wipe up if that happens, but it is a bit annoying that the drip tray doesn't have a better design. On the plus side, I absolutely love this steam wand. It is very similar to the steam wand on Breville's high-end consumer espresso machines, such as the Breville Barista Touch, and it does a very nice job getting silky smooth microfoam for latte art, and you can make your milk more frothy for cappuccinos and macchiatos if you prefer. The sensor on the drip tray will help determine when your milk or any milk alternative has reached the temperature setting you have set, and the steaming will stop automatically. Another nice feature is that making milk-based espresso drinks is pretty straightforward on this machine. 
The unit will have you do the milk first or the espresso first, depending on the type of drink you are making, which is quite significant. The difference between a latte or cappuccino and a macchiato, for example, is basically the order in which the milk and espresso go into your cup. And believe it or not, that makes your drink taste completely different. So without further ado, what do you say we go ahead and make a flat white with some latte art? While I'm making my flat white, let's quickly talk about who this machine is for. I personally love this machine. It's been my favorite Nespresso machine because I have the ability to make great barista quality drinks in the convenience of my home. Comparing to the cost of a good traditional espresso machine, it's actually quite inexpensive and the Nespresso line gives you a lot of options of different tastes and strengths as well. I will note though that capsules will cost more than buying whole beans for a true espresso machine. But if you like the convenience of a pod or capsule system with the taste and quality of a coffee shop or want to impress and entertain your friends, I highly recommend the Creatista Plus. As you saw, it pulled the shot with pressure like a traditional espresso machine and did a pretty good job getting that warm honey consistency. The shots probably aren't on par with an expert barista, but in my opinion, they are better than what many people such as myself will easily achieve on a traditional espresso machine. The customizability of the milk steaming is a great feature as well. There are 11 milk temperature settings from cool to very hot and eight different foam level settings. The sensor below where the milk jug sits will make the steaming automatically stop once the desired temperature setting is achieved. I use a different milk pitcher than the one the machine came with because it's narrower spout is a little easier for latte art, but the machine still senses the temperature perfectly on it. Once complete, you simply wipe the steam wand with a damp towel and let it automatically purge out any residual milk. You can see a nice microphone with the recommended wet paint appearance for a nice smooth flat white. So let's give our milk and espresso a swirl and try my best at some latte art. Nespresso and Breville have done a really good job allowing you to make the proper espresso and microfoam for a great looking result as well as a great tasting drink. Lastly, I really want to thank you all for watching and hope you're having a great day and hope to see you all again on our next 7 minute review.